Hey YouTube, what's going on? Here we are with another repair. This time we're taking a look at a Lenovo 300E uh, touchscreen. The touchscreen is being cracked. It's having uh, issues with the screen, so we're gonna go ahead and take that apart today. Let's go. So the continuation here is to take the screws uh, off the bottom. So all the screws are on the bottom, they need to come off. But there's a lining here that it could easily trick you into thinking that you need to open it from the bottom, which it needs to be open from the top. So let's see. So now after taking all the screws from the bottom, we come to the top and we need to take the palm rest off. Remember, this cannot is not necessary to take, take off the palm rest, but I do in, to disconnect the battery. But also this gives you an idea on how to take off the palm rest. So we... We'll try to get all the palmers off, disconnect the battery, so we'll show you next. So now that we have pried uh, the palmers with the with our tool here, we can take the palmers out this way, so that way it makes it easier. Remember, this is not necessary to replace the LCD, but I'm showing you just uh, to, so you can see what's under and what to disconnect and what not to disconnect. So once we pull it out, now we can slip back and then tilt it on the side. Now we're presented with the ribbon cable for the touchpad, which disconnect here and take that off. And then the keyboard here. Okay, now we have our palmers off, this comes <laughs> off. And now we have the motherboard, the battery and all everything else. So to disconnect the battery also, disconnecting the battery when you're having battery issues this will reset the battery and it will start it to make it work again if you're having battery issues that's a great thing to do to connect and reconnect that will save you a lot of troubles with the battery when you're having problems with it so let's go ahead and disconnect that right now and it's pretty easy just pull well so that's off here and now we can pretty much proceed with anything we want because there's no more power on the computer at all. For the LCD removal, the most important things to take off is that right there and this right here. So we'll take that off next. So after removing the screw covers and the screw, that's what it looks like on both sides. So now we need to remove the trim or the bezel. And the easiest way to do that would be uh, to go in on the side. So you can see right here, there's a sharp, sharp object, we'll try to pry this open. And remember, it's down. So as you can see, it's coming off. And now we just go with, run it with our fingers, but we gotta be very careful because this thing can break very, very easy. So we just pull down, so basically pull downwards. And it will show you the trick on how to slide down the screen because this is a very tricky point where the screen needs to come off in order to get it off the back cover. So after removing the trim and the bezel, now you're presented with three small screws that you need to take off. So those three screws need to come off. Once they come off, you pull the LCD down. So we'll see that next. So now that we're taking all the three screws off, now you need to slide. So we slide down from the top down. And once we do that, the whole assembly comes off. It could easily be put on the front of the unit. Now we're presented with all the cables. So that's the touch right there. That's the uh, for the digitizer, the connector. This is our LCD connector. And I believe that's our gyroscope. Okay, so let's go ahead and take care of that next. Oh, and I did forget to mention that this cable that runs all the way here is the camera cable. So you got to be very careful when taking this off as well.